For this post-workout stretch, feel free to use the back of a chair or a higher counter in place of the mobility sticks that I'm using. If you have something like two broomsticks, go ahead and use those as well. Begin by just gently grasping the sticks or the back of a chair, pushing your hips back, keeping your hands forward, and just focusing on some nice smooth breaths. You can do both hands forward at the same time or alternate one arm forward and one arm back. And again, just focus on that breathing. Do what feels really good to you and allow yourself to enjoy that moment and that stretch within your muscles. Now we're gonna go into one side at a time. You're going to dig one heel down, lifting your toes up and using the sticks or a chair or a counter for balance. Push your hips back and kind of sink back, bend the back leg, but keep that front leg straight and feel a stretch through your hamstrings and down the back of your leg. Then you're gonna pull your heel up, keep those knees together and squeeze your glutes to push your hip forward and stretch through the front of your hip and that hip flexor. And back, digging that heel down. You might feel like the second time through, you can stretch a little bit further than you could on the first time. But as I always say, never force a stretch. You wanna hold it where you're not holding your breath. Hold the stretch, not your breath. If you have a hard time grabbing your toes or your foot, you can always grab onto your ankle or just the back of your pants. You can also use a towel for a little bit of support here. Keep those knees together. Now in between, we're going to put the sticks or the chair in the center of your body. Arms are bent, not holding on with a death grip to those sticks or the chair. Feet are wide and just sink those hips back, stretching through that inner thigh on each leg. And again, breathing nice and smooth. Then you can bring the sticks or the chair up and we'll go into the other side. Dig that heel into the ground, toes are up and breathe. and into your hip flexor stretch. I can't stress it enough to keep those knees together. Sometimes you'll see people with their leg pulled out to the side. You wanna try and minimize that and focus on squeezing those knees together. And again, one more time with each stretch. If you don't have a chair or the sticks, you can also do these stretches without the support but sometimes it's just nice to have that. So it takes a little bit of pressure off. You can really focus on the stretch and your breathing without having to hold yourself in a difficult position. That's just going to take away from the overall stretch. And you can release that hip flexor stretch and go right back to what we did in the beginning. Hands forward, hips back, Now you're really going to use these sticks for balance. Um, so this is where if you're not using anything, you may want to grab a counter or your desk. You're gonna bring one ankle up and place it on top of the opposite knee. Use the sticks, the chair, the counter for balance as you stick those hips back and sort of sit down on that one leg. Now you're getting into the piriformis, a little bit into your hips. Go ahead and switch sides. Again, never forcing it. You're not trying to get super low, but you do want to be able to breathe through the stretch. Come on up. And we're gonna do one more side each time. The more you do this routine, the easier it becomes. It's just a great way to finish up a workout that you've done. Really get into all the muscles you've used. There's a little bit of upper body, a little bit of lower body, and really into that back as well. Good way to bring your heart rate down and support your body after all the work you've just completed. And one more time, hands forward, hips back. Can bring those arms side to side, do what feels good for you, and congratulate, congratulate yourself for a job well done.